Hey guys, NFX here. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the browser a bit and just point out some of the features that I don't know that a lot of people are either aware of and or that they use, including myself, quite honestly. Um, but there is um, some features that I think would be useful. Um, and I wanted to show what they are. Specifically, what I want to show is how to set up your own uh, tabs. So if I make the browser bigger here, you can see across the top there are various tabs. And, uh, you know, they're labeled and you can see wh exactly what those are. Um, you, as you probably know, most of you anyway, you can add things to this menu by going to Options, File Settings, and then by adding folders here in the browser extra search folders, they will appear in this all browser. And for example, here where it says M, that's one of my um, custom browser search folders. And in my case, this is mapped to an external drive that holds a lot of the things that I like to use. But what I want to show you today is how you can actually make a custom tab over here. So because if you look, you've got a lot of things here, you know, your presets, you've got projects, packs, etc., etc., etc. You may want to just maybe put your drum kits and your sound fonts uh, and maybe some samples, right? So what you can do is you can go and find the thing you want to put on its own tab. And in this case, I'm going to start with uh, drum kits. And I'm just going to right click on it. And I'm going to say open a new tab. What it's done is it's made a new tab here called drum kits. But I want to add more than the drum kits in here. So I'm just going to right click up here. I'll rename it and we'll just call it um, NFX, right? And you can give it a color. Let's just make it a, a red color, I guess, something reddish. And you could also give it an icon if you wanted to. And then we'll say OK. Now we may have to open it up to see the icon. But additionally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it and say move left. And I'm going to be able to move this all the way over to the left. So this will become my, let's say, my second item on the browser. So I go back to all, I can then go to other things I want to add to that. Like for example, my sound fonts. Let's say I want to get my sound fonts on there. I'll right click on sound fonts. And now I could say add folder to tab. And because I've already got one custom tab, it'll list it there for me. And I'll just say add it there. Maybe I'll add my samples also to that tab and my impulses to that tab. So now when I go to that tab, I have quick and easy access to all those things. And it'll remember it, um, you know, in, in your, um, across all your projects. So this is a way you can quickly go and, and get those things that you prefer to use instead of having to navigate the all um, tab or one of these other ones, which they, they all have their place, but this is how you make a custom one. So hopefully you could take this information and use it in your workflow and make it more efficient and uh, help you to find your, your sounds quicker and all that kind of good stuff. Hope it works out for you and I'll catch you guys in the next one.